Hey, what's up? I'm Jacob Hager, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a manual. Basically, this probably isn't a trick you're going to learn overnight, or maybe you will. Some people would just pick them up and are naturals at them. But I'll just give you a few tips on how you can learn them a little bit easier. Tip number one is just do them all the time. Find a parking lot, find a parking lot, um, and just try to like give yourself goals. Like try to do three lines or four lines. If you don't have a goal, it's going to be harder to learn it. I, I, I find that if you pick a couple lines that you want to do, start with two, three, four, and then work your way up from there. Then you'll have something to work towards. So you'll be able to see how, how much better you're getting at them. Basically what a manual is, is it's balancing on the back wheel without pedaling. Um, this is different from a catwalk. So yeah, you're using your, your body weight to balance as opposed to your acceleration. Keep your arms locked. Tip number one, arms locked. They don't necessarily have to be like locked, but like keep your arms straight. You want to use your lower half to do the majority of the balancing. You're like, your your hips to balance you. You're gonna pull back on the front and then you're gonna use your knees and your hips to balance yourself. So maybe practice looping out first. That way when it happens, when you're actually doing the manual, you're not gonna get hurt by falling off because you already know how to do it. Looping out is basically this. It is leaning back too far and then the bike shoots in front of you. Learn to do that because if you're not good at that when it happens and you go over the back end um, you don't want your feet to still be on the pedals and then land on your back it just won't be a good day so learn how to loop out and catch yourself now the way to keep yourself balanced in a manual um, is gonna be based off of where you're basically where your butt is like you want to move your hips forward and backward depending on like if you're leaning too far back or too far forward so that you want to there's, there's different ways to manual. I know people that stand up in manual. I know people who sit down over their back wheel in manual. I kind of do it in between. Um, there's no right or wrong way. I think the further back you are, the easier it is to do tricks out of it because you can pop up. Whereas if your legs are already kind of fully extended, you don't really have much room to go from there. Find your balance point and, and play with it. It's gonna take you a little while to figure it out. So like I said, just try to do a few parking spots at a time. Um, if you start to lean back too far, you start to, like you're going to fall back, throw your hips forward and that's going to bring you front end down. If your front end starts to drop, throw your hips back and that's going to allow your bike to pick back up. That way you're not dropping the front end. Oh, and another tip for manuals, um, as far as keeping your balance point, it's, it's not just moving your legs or moving your hips back and forth. You also want to extend and um, bend your knees as well. So if you start to fall forward, extend your knees and that'll pull yourself back a little bit. If you start to fall backwards, bend your knees and that'll drop you forward. If you have the issue, and a lot of people starting out have the issue where they lift it up and then it falls back down. They can only get it up for a few feet and it falls back down. You're not coming close to your balance point. You want to loop out, you want to learn to loop out, that way you can feel that balance point. Because if you're just lifting up and dropping back down, it's because you're not getting to your balance point. So you want to keep doing that until you loop out and then you can find your balance point somewhere in between. And then yeah, just practice. Do this at night, do it after a session, do it before a session to warm up. Um, just do it more often. They're not gonna come like that. They might, but for a lot of people, they don't just happen overnight. So you wanna practice them. It's not something that you can just pick up step back down and then come back to in, in a few months and then have them. You want to do them consistently every day. Even if you only spend five, 10 minutes a day learning them, it's going to help. As far as side to side, if you want to turn with it, that's all in your hips and in your knees. So if you want to turn left, you turn your body to the left and you kind of like lean. If you want to turn left, you just kind of turn your right knee over your frame and you tilt your shoulder, you drop your left shoulder and then you can turn left or vice versa. If you want to turn right, you bring your left knee over and drop your right shoulder. Um, and you'll pick that up. Don't worry about that right now. Just worry about the moving your hips forward and backwards to keep the front end off the ground and keep your back tire on the ground. So yeah, the more you practice, the further you'll be able to go. Like I said, parking spots or lines like this in the concrete. Um, practice doing one line, two lines, three lines. So yeah, hopefully this helps you out. If it did, like the video. Comment below any other how-tos you want me to make. And yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mother <laughs>